John, let's remember PGA Championship is getting very, very close. Let's bring in our next guest, John Coyne, an author of over 25 fiction and nonfiction books and a lifelong lover of golf. His two, two most recent novels are The Caddy Who Knew Ben Hogan and The Caddy Who Played With Hickory. You can find them on Amazon and in local bookstores. Check out johncoinebooks.com. That's C-O-Y-N-E. He joins us on this Tuesday afternoon. How are you, John? I'm fine, Richard. Good to talk to you. Uh, good to talk to you, as always. Uh, how's the weather up north? It's uh, it's great, actually. We've uh, the heat has gone through, and we're going to have a few few good days. Although I'm playing golf this weekend, and it looks like we might have a little rain, but that's the only problem. Uh, well, you know that's why umbrellas are made. Hopefully, uh, not not any lightning or thunder. Right, right. Well, that's a dangerous, dangerous combination. Mm -hmm, they definitely Metal clubs and, and the lightning. Oh, it's it's no good. I, I was actually up in Buffalo about a, a week and a half ago, and it had great weather. I think it was average of maybe seventy five, seventy six degrees. Well, it's a little it's a little warmer down here in Westchester, just north of the city. So, mm -hmm. uh, but we're okay. Oh, well, let's start talking about the PGA Championship, uh, John. What what do you like most about the Ocean Course in, in South Carolina? Well, it's a it's a great course. Uh, I mean, first of all, most European link courses, and this is a Lynx course, as we know, you can play a shot low to the ground and run the ball up onto the green to avoid the wind, which is important. But in this course, which Peter Dye designed, he elevated all the greens, um, and sort of it's a lot like the Masters in that sense with ele elevated greens. And the problem is. You have to hit the ball high to come into these to to come in and hold these greens. But if the wind starts blowing, if it gets up around 20 to 30 miles an hour, it's going to be a long tournament and a, a fun tournament to watch. Not not so much fun to play, but mm -hmm. they ever, it, it's a very difficult course. One of the great things about golf is that it's always the player, not only the player against the other players, but it's the player against the golf course and. Uh, all the courses, a majority of courses, and the way they play golf today, the ball comes in high and holds. But this course is 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 not going to be uh, so friendly if if the wind picks up. I don't know what the weather conditions will be for for uh, the Charleston area, but uh, if it's at all windy, it's going to be it's going to be. Uh, fun after weekend uh, mm -hmm. of watching golf. Uh, John Coyne joining us right here with Miller on Sports. It's AM 1600 on your radio dial, also 1600thebeach.com. You can go there and listen online each and every weekday afternoon from 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, John, I saw where Las Vegas, they already have the odds for the PGA Championship. Tiger Woods is the best. He's the odds-on favorite, 7-1. to one. Uh, Would you say that Tiger should be the favorite? No, I don't think so. I mean, it, it's interesting. He's, he's, the last um, uh, tournament he won, ma major that he won, was in 2008. And interestingly enough, since 2008, there's been seven or 16, I think it is, major uh, different winners to major tournaments. Mm -hmm. So uh, you've got a you got a situation where anybody could could come out of the field and, and make a difference. Tig it, it favors long hitters, which is good because Tiger's a long hitter. But you've also have Bubba Watson, and these guys are driving the ball 350, et cetera. Uh, Tiger's short game is giving him a lot of trouble. The, thing, the problem is, and for Tiger, and last weekend was a good example, he had two good rounds and two and two so-so rounds, and uh, you got to put four rounds together. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty, it's pretty difficult to pick anybody. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't want to be betting on this one because <laughs> although I is. Seven to one. I think Luke Donald and, and Lee Westwood come in there with. Uh, I think it's fifteen, 15 to one. But yeah. I think I think the what the the I favor people for uh, European players because they know how to play Lynx courses better than than uh, American golfers. So I'd go with somebody from from uh, over over across the pond. Well, that's interesting you bring that up, John, because I said back in March, I, I thought Rory McIlroy was going to win at least two or three majors in 2012, right, yeah. and I, I've been way, way wrong. Uh, where has Rory been recently? I don't know. He's just, it, he's, he's, it seems not to be able to concentrate. Now, whether he's tied up with doing that, you know, doing a lot of uh, media work or making a lot of uh, commercials, I don't know. There's so much pressure on these, these guys when they, when they make it. Uh, with contracts being made by their managers, that they 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 lose sight of of uh, the golf course and and what they're really supposed to be doing, which is playing golf. And uh, I think that's probably a bigger problem that he got. 
Bradley won last week. You know, Bradley's a, Bradley's a good golfer. It's very hard for someone to win back to back, but um, he's an interesting golfer. He comes out of this uh, New York area. He went to St. John's University up here, mm-hmm. uh, and that would be a, it'd be a phenomenal thing that he that he won. Now, what really impressed me most about him was uh, how he hung in there on Sunday of last week and came in, came back to win and and you know and beat a very good field of, of golfers. It's, it's up in the air. I don't you know it's it's a lot depends on the weather. But um, given all the given all the, the the design of this course, the the and how difficult it is, um, I, I would I would stick with a European player. Hmm. Uh, very interesting. John Coyne joining us, an author of over 25 fiction and nonfiction books, a lifelong lover of golf. You can find uh, both of his most recent novels on Amazon and in local bookstores. It's The Caddy Who Knew Ben Hogan and also The Caddy Who Played with Hickory. Check out johncoinebooks.com. That's C-O-Y-N-E. We're talking plenty of golf and PGA Championship on this Tuesday afternoon. Uh, now, John, so far this season, we've seen Bubba Watson winning the Masters, Webb Simpson winning the U.S. Open, and Ernie Els winning in dramatic right. fashion at the British Open. Uh, which one of those three can maybe make a run at the Ocean Course come uh, a couple of days from now? Webb, Webb Simpson, I'd like to see. Um, uh, he's, you know, I've been, I've been pulling for him for, for uh, all year long, like, like you've been and, uh, pulling for Rory McIlroy. I, uh, he's a very fine uh, uh, golfer. He hits the ball well along. His, his, his short game is on. He could be he could be dangerous. And I, they have him, They don't have him as a particularly favorite. I don't think in this in this tournament. But um, watch for him. Mm-hmm. He's, he's a good golfer. Hmm. Uh, very interesting. Are, are there any other storylines out there that fans should follow that maybe aren't getting as much publicity as they should be? Well, you got you got a, a guy named Dustin Johnson who is is a, uh, sort of under the radar in terms of of attention and also in terms of personality. He's sort of a quiet guy, sticks to himself. Um, again, it, um, he hits the ball long, but you know, I, <laughs> it's so redundant because these, all of these guys are, are driving the ball a ton. Mm-hmm. If his if his short game is on. Um, he may he may make a, he may be able to do it because uh, he's come close for, uh, this year and uh, he's always up there around the leaders. So I would I would go uh, with him. There's also you know I wrote one book you, you didn't mention was the, the, the caddy who won the Masters and in that one I took a uh, an older a pro um, I mean not, it's not an older pro an older amateur coming playing in the ma- in the um, in the Masters and and help, having the help from um, previous champions, sort of like a you know, field of dreams for golf. Right. And there's a guy here. There's a there's a 59 year old uh, uh, home club pro who um, is playing in his uh, fifth uh, decade, and and he'll be playing in this uh, um, uh, tournament uh, this weekend. Uh, he's a head pro out at uh, Deerdale Golf Course, which is located in Long Island, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it would be great to see somebody like that come along, um, and li- if nothing else, just make the cut. I mean, you al- always like to see the guys that uh, come out of nowhere to to, um, uh, to make it. And Daryl uh, Kessner is his, is his name, so watch for him. So he's my sentimental pra- favorite, but I, <laughs> I, doubt, I doubt very much he's going to make it, Richard. John Coyne joining us on this Tuesday afternoon. Uh, now I know you, you have a lot of books. Are you are you working on a new golf book right now? Well, I'm working on a book about uh, Tammy Shanner. Now, Tammy Shanner is a golf was a golf course in Chicago. It was owned by a guy named George May, who uh, who uh, was a, an industrial uh, manager. And uh, the course he really created the first big prizes for golfers back in the in the 50s. And the course was famous uh, because it uh, allowed a lot of uh, anybody could join it that that May wanted to join and. There was a lot of mobsters from Chicago who belonged to this country club, which was in Niles, Illinois, just west of the city. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was the first t- tournament in '57, I believe, that was had uh, broadcast on television. They had one camera on the 18th green, and first dramatic uh, moment in golf, and the first time it was broadcast was Lee Worsham sank a, a wedge on the final hole of the final day. Um, wasn't a particularly well hit wedge, but it landed short, 
ran all the way across the green and into the cup and won the tournament and won $50,000. Wow. Back when, the first, back when first prizes were about $2,000. Man. So, uh, the John we'll Coyne. Have something like this this weekend. He is John Coyne, author, lifelong lover of golf. Check out johncoinbooks.com for more info. John, it's always a pleasure. Take care. Thanks very much, Richard. Good luck to you. All right.